Welcome back one and all, my name is Altamar and we are going to be continuing our let's play of Divine Divinity. Where we left off last time, we were just heading down into the depths of the catacomb. Looks like it's a pretty grim place, we're gonna quick save for right here. And we're gonna head on in. Ow! It appears there are traps. There are many traps. We should probably take a minor healing potion. Because that hurt a little bit. We'll also quick save. Did we. Damn it. If I go back, do I get shocked again? No, okay. Go pick up your teleporter stone. So, I did some loot stuff, got back to. The place picked up our teleporter stone from that place. It's now sitting near the ah. town. I don't know what I got hit by there. We should maybe have to detect traps. But we have no skills currently. So let's just take a minor healing potion. Call it a day. This place is trap central though. Ow. Our damage is so variable, that's what I don't like about it. I wish we had more sustained <sighs> damage so that we could tell what we were going to be doing. Any of these worth looting? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Maybe we'll kill it before it gets to us. Holy crap, it actually worked. Oh, there's a trap! We can see this one! How do I stop it? I have an idea. You guys totally walked over the trap. How did you not die? Oh, don't, don't, don't do that. Oh. oh. Really? Okay. We really need better. Oh, we saved right here. Nice. I'll just stand and fight them. It's safer than moving around. Is that it? Alright. Let's use a potion. Now let's see if we can set off this trap somehow. I don't know if throwing something into it will work, but that's what we're gonna try. Didn't do anything. Or maybe it did, I don't know. All I know is we don't have disarm trap and we really should. Is that a lich? Yeah, that's another lich. Not as tough as the last lich we fought, arguably. Oh, that's a lot of guys. That's a lot, a lot of guys. Okay. Now. All right. That one's pretty damn good. We got some scale armor. Scale mail, technically, I guess. Let's save. We killed a lot of things there really quickly, and that was actually really good. I don't feel like dying. This door is locked tighter than a dwarf sail purse. We'll see about that. Really? 
Ooh, two fails in a row is never a good sign. Okay, we'll come back for that. Oh, there's another lich. I'm just gonna go around this way. Oh dear. Bring box in. There we go. Killed that warrior. And there we go. Lich is gone. Warrior's gone. Everything turned out okay. Problem solved. Can we shoot doors down? I know in the other ones you can. Like Divine Divinity, you absolutely can shoot a door down. This one I guess not. Alright, we'll come back and see if we can open that later on. Alright, so... We can actually rest. We do have straw with us. If you put a straw on the ground and you make it into bed shape and you put another straw with it, you get to make hay and you can sleep on hay. Apparently. I don't know why you couldn't just put the straw on the ground and that would work too, but I am not some sort of... You can't recollect it though. So once you use your bed straw, it is done. The door is locked. Okay. Lockpick also failed. Was there something we missed? Was there a lever somewhere? Probably. Not seeing any in this area. That's garbage. I don't want to pick up garbage. There's a lever. I have no idea what that just did. Open that door. Really? It's like three feet from you. You could just look. Oh shit. Oh shit. There's a. Nope. Nope. Wrong. Okay, now let's try to take on the guardian. Guardians take forever to kill, unfortunately. Actually, that one doesn't. That one was strangely quick. A little bit unnervingly quick, actually. Hello, Lich. That was a solid hit. Die, everybody. Everybody die. Ow. At least our hate is still here, we can still sleep. Once we kill some more undead skeleton idiots. Let's go back to sleep. This is the perfect time to sleep. We just finished killing a dozen things. Gotta be tired after that. I'd, I'd need a nap after killing like 12 things. Alright. Oh, I thought we killed everything over there. Come on, die. There we go. There's a worn mining pickaxe through. Where did that guy come from? I don't like how they just appear out of nowhere. Ah. How'd you get through the bars? Oh, there's holes. Go figure. And a lever. Dude, the lever is clearly on this side. 
Okay. Nope. Oh, there's a lich. Shit. We actually might need to use a potion. Maybe we didn't need to use a potion. Oh well. You know what? We can buy new ones if we need to. Come on. Just die, champ. Please? Thank you. Now you're next. Please also die. Hmm. I wonder what that did. Maybe it opened up the library place. It would make a lot of sense, actually. Except that this place would be horrible to navigate. What if you were here... Like, what if this wasn't a cloister or, like, a large crypt? What if this was just a couple people that lived here? Be like, hey, can you pull the lever in eight rooms over, please, so I can get into the door to the study? No? You don't want to do that for me? Of course not. Why would you want to do that? At last, the living soul has finally come to set me free from my prison. Long have I awaited such a moment. You do not look at all healthy. What ails you? The soul would hear my story? Marvelous, though it is a dark tale of betrayal. I was once a mighty magician, my power flowing from the demon blood that ran through my veins. They called me the engineer. During the age of renaissance, this abbey was a great place of stored knowledge. This doesn't sound interesting so far. The monks were fearful that disciples from other orders might sneak into their library and steal their documents. They hired me to construct magical traps and devices to protect their repository of knowledge. I accepted thanks in large part due to the large sum of gold they promised that would have paid for many important items I needed in my studies. What happened then? I spent the entire month in the library setting up my magical traps and defenses of the most devious designs. Throughout the monks watched me carefully. As I finally laid the final traps and completed my work, they struck and imprisoned me in a magical cage that fed upon my life force. I think the monks wanted absolutely no one to get access to their works. Yes, and of course considering I had laid all the traps, they deemed my knowledge dangerous and decided to imprison me. They were fools. I placed a curse on everything within their abbey, turning the monks therein into undead creatures for their treachery. They will suffer until I have my payment. How can I release you? My spirit has grown restless over the years. The burning rage for revenge flows through my heart and can only be extinguished if you give me a thousand gold pieces, the sum promised to me by the monks. Sure, here you go. Your payment has satisfied the burning desire for revenge. The curse will be lifted and I now await the mists of oblivion to take me to rest. Farewell, adventurer. My phone's ringing somewhere. We'll get to that later. There are chests. Several chests. Some with gold. And a manuscript. Hagnar Firebreath was a famous dwarven warrior who got his name from eating pork roasted with garlic cloves at least once a day. It is said he defeated his enemies by first disorienting them with his garlic breath. During the Age of Chaos, when he was 111 years old, Hangar earned the title of Blessed from the priests of the god Duna after slaying five score demons at the Battle of the Damned. It is well known by the Hell Creatures are repulsed by garlic. Unfortunately, Hangar was, Hangar, sorry, was killed shortly thereafter when he tried to sneak into the lair of a Weirm. It is believed the beast was awoken from its slumber by the stench of his breath. Wow. So it has good and bad implications. Also, why is there some, like, hardcore battle music playing right now? There's no enemies around. Also, whatever's in these chests better be worth more than a thousand gold. I must rest. Lockpick costs mana? Really? Who knew? As much as I'd love to know what's in here, it's locked. Alright, what do we got? A double axe unidentified, and of course a battle axe unidentified, and wizard's sight, which is a scroll. Cool. One item in the bookcase, that was the, uh, Oh, there's a cool book. It has a picture of what looks to be a baby inside of like a locket type thing with somebody holding it. I don't know, whatever. It's a weird, weird thing. Another manuscript. This one doesn't say happy birthday. This one says rich bip. I can't read that. It's not in a language I recognize. It has too many weird characters. And another one very similar. All right, I guess we're out of here then. Let's go see what we got for items. We can use the teleporter to go right back to town, so we don't have to go very far, luckily. And we completed this quest, actually, which is nice. I wonder if we have to turn that into anybody. 
get back to you on that one. Oh, we can't take the teleporter here. I forgot. This is the one we can't use yet. We could have gone out that side door, I guess, but... Oh, we can use this one. Nice. Ours, uh, this one. We're going to the, the town. Let's go see what we got for items. And then we'll call it a video. No friend or no harm. What do you have to sell? He is sort of an annoying blacksmith, to be honest, because you have to continually wait for him to walk back to and forth to his store. Oh. Okay. Trade. What did we end up getting? So identify. We got a double up or battle axe, I should say, which is a battle axe of the brain. It's not very good. A dwarven axe, which is actually kind of nice. It's got fire damage, life drain, and stun, but really low damage. Also hiccups. And we have a dragon amulet, which is plus 40 to vitality, plus 40 to magic, resistance to lightning, plus one to hearing. Oh, I have hiccups. It hurts. Okay, and we got some scale armor, which we're not going to use. Addle? Does he have anything we want? I'm going to go with probably not, but let's take a quick look. What's that? Plain amulet. Alright, I sold some stuff. Some of these are probably our items that we gave to him because we didn't want them anymore. Alright, there's nothing around. So, let's just sell off some stuff. Like the Battle Axe of the Brain, the Dwarven Axe. Uh, that amulet might be better than ours. We'll take a look. Get rid of all that junk. And that. And that, and that. Give me some cash for it, and we'll call it even. Farewell. Alright, that's going to be... Let's quickly check to see if our journal has anything to say about this. Let's see if we can the curse from this old building. Where is that farmer? Oh, it says quest has been solved. So, we have done it, I guess. Do we have any other quests? Yes, we have Philosophy of Life, looking for a missing boy, enter Stormfist Castle, contact Captain Mitox, and find a solution to the plague problem. Oh no, that's been done. I guess, kinda. Now uh, we mean... Oh, we have to meet Zandalor and the Dwarven Bread Inn. We'll do that next. And then we also have to expose George's murderer at some point as well. Alright, so those are going to be the quests for the next video. We'll work on some of those. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Take care.